Hello there, everybody. Sherman, leave a le leaving a legacy by positively impacting people. Thank you for your engagement. Uh, appreciate all the feedback and the comments. Um, let me know how I can continue to bring value to you. I want to focus this video on self-limiting beliefs. Had a great conversation with this really professional, uh, dedicated, determined uh, female in our industry. And as, as I was talking to her, I just got thought about this, this concept is that, um, or not, not, not that I'm a, the originator of the, the concept, but we often view ourselves a certain way in our mind's eye. And it can be extremely valuable to videotape yourself or even have a conversation professionally in the mirror so you can get a feel of how you're coming across, what, what is another person seeing in you? Because oftentimes we might see ourselves as an immature version of ourselves we might be a, a, an extreme critic of who we are, but yet we might come across as extremely polished, put together, professional, and, and, and sound like an expert, even though in our minds we know that there's all these gaps and there's these flaws, there's these mistakes, there's these weaknesses that exist. And for ourselves, we see them as huge, massive craters of why someone shouldn't do business with us. Had a conversation with one of my advisors, and that's that's exactly how he felt, that he didn't really have that much value to bring to the marketplace because he was still very, very new into the, into the industry. And that's not how it comes across. So oftentimes, you need to remove those shackles. And the only way that I know how is really to get some feedback. And the best feedback really is by videotaping yourself, engaging in your, in your profession, and then you can get a feel of, okay, I'm spot on. It's the same, it's not, it's not anything different than what a professional athlete will do, is they'll, they'll review their, their tape and they'll see, okay, how am I doing that free throw? How am I doing my passes? How am I running the, that route? And that'll give them a good idea if they're really doing it the way that they're, they're, they're expected to do it for themselves and based on what the coach wants. And so I think the same thing can work for you. What are you doing to get yourself to that next level? And how are you knowing, um, or how are you overcoming any of those self-limiting beliefs? Have a fantastic day, everybody.